Hi everyone. Today I'd like to do my favourite e.l.f. products of 2010 or thereabouts. So, um, some of these I think I might have even mentioned last year, at least one, which is my complexion perfection. I've gone through about two or three of these. They do go down quite quickly if you've got um, greasy skin, but so does MAC Blot and various other really good competitors. And if you haven't looked this up, then make sure that you do. I would say definite must have and HT for me. The thing which I've liked for a million years, just to get these out of the way. Lots of new colours out, but I have to say my heart still lies with this one, and this one is Fire Coral. And this is their plumping lip glaze from their £1.50 range. And I'm wearing it now, and I just love the way it looks. The others also looked really good, but there's something about this one which just gives that coral tinge which just brightens up your face. What I'm wearing right now is this mineral blusher, and this is called Peachy. And um, I don't know if you... Hopefully you can see. It goes on very natural. If you look at it in the pan, you will notice a slight shimmer. And on the face, that doesn't really show up, but if you look really, really closely, you can see slight shimmer. But all this does is just make the skin look glowy, and it's just a really flattering everyday blusher, and I really like it. Um, I also like their Candid Coral Blusher from the Studio line, but I have to say, I really like the way mineral blushes apply, and I just seem to prefer mineral blushes. I think it's better for my skin. I'm not sure if I mentioned this last year, because again, ever since I discovered this, I would say I would be lost without it. This is a complexion brush. I use this for so many things. It's wide and it's thin, so you can use it for powder, like complexion perfection, blusher, contouring, and just anything you would need a brush for. So excellent, soft, and a must-have. This is £3.50 from the e.l.f. Studio range, and their brushes generally are really worthwhile, and none more so than this, in my opinion. thing, which Oxford Jasmine also mentioned, and I have to agree, is the e.l.f. Mineral Booster in Tinted. The two people with quite different skin tones can both use this and appreciate it as testament to the fact that this is really adequate for any skin tone. It does have a tint, but once you use it, it's so finely milled and so sheer that it really doesn't go on as any colour at all. It finishes your face very nicely without making it look powdery and without taking away the glowiness of your skin. Sometimes I just want to look glowy and polished and that's when I really need this. It's wonderful stuff and it's from the mineral range as well. So it's £3.50 but you can get the super size of the sheer version which I'm certainly going to look into. This Midnight Cream Eyeliner from the Studio line. Number one, I adore this packaging. I think it's excellent for keeping the product fresh and creamy. It's a very interesting blue. Um, in my review of this I compared it to a Laura Mercier cake eyeliner that they do. Not just your average midnight sort of deep blue or blackened blue. It's almost like a grayed blue and I use this with a fine eyeliner brush and it is quite sheer so you do need to layer it about twice I would say but then it goes completely opaque and I also like using this as an eyeshadow base as well. It really makes any blue just stand out so brilliantly. So highly recommend that. And they also have a lot of product in them, 4.7 grams. And these are from the £1.50 range. And the sharpener is really good. And in fact, that leads me to my favourite way to use these. Um, I can't remember the colours offhand. I think this was gunmetal. Uh, but I'll put the colours below and the way I like to use them is to sharpen them and then to take off the sort of sharpening, off the sharpening shaving very carefully and just literally smooth it out 
and use it as a cream eyeshadow. And this is just so effective. Use one tiny shaving for both eyes and really intense. I do have a review of these though, but just to quickly show you, go on very creamy and again smudges out. Once it's smudged though, it does set. Those are my favourites. I had quite a few. I hope you had a wonderful 2010 and looking forward to 2011. All the best. Bye.